book by a fourth generation Montanan takes a deep dive into some of Big Sky Country's darkest days. And although Montana disasters may sound morbid, author Butch Larkham told me it's about much more than just death and destruction. From the flood of 1964 to the Custer Creek train wreck outside of Miles City in 1938, Butch Larkham's original articles for Montana Quarterly Magazine ignited a passion for his latest book, Montana Disasters. What really it turned out to me is that these are all interesting events in Montana history and ones that are worth remembering. And I thought by doing a book and doing some, trying to do good research around them that it would help people remember them. The book includes about 25 full accounts on disasters dating back to 1895, with references and short passages on others. Larkham says it wasn't easy to narrow it down, and it's not necessarily a list of the worst disasters. There's no yardstick that's used to measure a disaster. You know, a, a disaster is in the eye of the beholder. And, mm -hmm. um, but I looked for ones where there, I thought there was an interesting human story around the event and tried to get in contact or at least recall the experiences of the people that were involved, so put a human face on these stories. Larkham says some of the state's lesser known events are his favorite stories. A 1931 fire west of Shoto on the Rocky Mountain front killed five firefighters. In 1950, the Browning High boys basketball team was staying overnight in Eureka after a game. In the middle of that cold winter night, the hotel boiler blew up, setting the hotel on fire. Many of the team, member, team members were able to escape by jumping out of second story windows into snowbanks, and they actually almost threw their coach through the a window to get him out because he wanted to stay and look for other players. But as it turned out, two of their teammates were lost in a fire and three other people died in that fire. And the book's subtitle is True Stories of Treasure State Tragedies and Triumphs. Larkham says the triumph comes in some of the personal stories of people moving on, as well as the changes brought about by some of the disasters in areas such as mine safety and wildland firefighting. There's a couple stories about mine disasters in the book, and I think the awareness and need for mine safety was improved dramatically after those events. Um, similarly, with some of the wildfire events, you know, wild, fighting wildfires in the early days was a pretty hazardous occupation and people didn't have much training. And after people saw how dangerous it was, I, they, they slowly adopted better training and better standards for firefighters. Montana Disasters is available in many Treasure State bookstores and online. Larkham will be giving a presentation at the Montana Historical Society on January 13th which will also be available on the Historical Society's YouTube channel.